Hey, Campus Georgia, back in the man cave. The other day, I was working on a project, and I've been waiting on leather. I have this box of pieces of leather. <laughs> That's it. And I was looking through it the other day, and I came up with enough leather to make a sheath. Really frustrated. And then I had an idea. Yep. Let's check it out. So like I said, I had an idea. Looking through all that leather and whatnot, I found a couple of pieces and I thought, what can I use these for? And then I thought, well, really all you can do is slips with these. And the knives I have around right now, not so much. But hey, I do have... Uh, rough Riders in the cupboard. So I dived in there, grabbed seven, yeah, seven random ones that I thought could make slips for. Here they are here. Just a wide range of Rough Riders. And then I thought, I got seven. What about seven slips in seven days? What do you think? Here's what I'm thinking. This is the plan. I'm going to do a slip a day on each one of these Rough Riders. There's seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll give you a quick overview of the knife. I'll show you the pieces of leather I'm hoping to use on them. And then we'll make a slip. We'll make a different slip every day. Here's the catch. On the seventh day, a giveaway. Go, whatever you want to call it. Well, not on the seventh day. We'll set it up. I'll tell you all about it, what the rules are, and how to get about it, and we'll do a giveaway. Then I'll give you about a week to catch up on it, then we'll do a drawing. We'll do a random drawing from the comments on the last video. What do you think? If you want in, comments. I'm in. If you've got something else to say, but you don't want in, that's okay too. Just don't say I'm in. Just say, George, what were you thinking? That's the plan. So, this just happens to be day one. And I grabbed this guy. Rough Rider. This is the Rough Rider. Are you paying attention now? RR1572. Yeah, from Rough Rider. It's pretty cool. It's from the High Carbon Steel series. It's a good one. Check this out. See that? Look at this guy. The blades on this are monsters. And they have, you can see the high carbon on it. You know, it's got that dark color, you can see. Very cool knife. Really nice shape to it. Well made. It's a Rough Rider. It's well made. Uh, you know, it, they, they do a good job. For what you pay for these things, you can't beat them. So like I said... On the box here, it says model number RR1572. Got it? All right, here we go. This is what I'm using. Remember this leather? This was leather from my old roll pouch I used for my uh, whittling kit. And I was going to throw it away. And then I thought, you know what? The leather's pretty good. Maybe we can make a slip for it. Let's have at it. So you have the knife here. And by the way, uh, all you have to do is go online and type in the model number, Rough Rider or, or whatever it is, and you'll find out more about it. This one has Makata scales on it, black, red liners. Very nice. These are very nice knives. Considering what Rough Rider charges for them, you can't beat that value. And you know what? You don't even have to sharpen them because oot, they come sharp. Let's make the slip. So we've got these two pieces here. And basically, we're going to put this right in there like that. So we're going to have to clean up the leather. I've got to get rid of all this fluffing and whatnot. I think I'm going to do a different color. Obviously, you know, that just doesn't look cool enough. This is a cool knife. 
Right. So we're going to change the color of the leather too. I was thinking, you know, this is a black handle with red highlighters. So maybe we can make something match there. So I don't have a lot of black <laughs> or red. <laughs> Hopefully we can just do this star thing. Hmm. Suspect we're gonna have to put a couple of coats on this because it's been treated, so I'm not so sure this dye will get on there. Right. Well, hopefully I don't need any more in the next seven days. <laughs> Ooh, nearly finished. We're gonna let that dry, and then I've got red, and I want to put the red on there. Well, first problem. <laughs> Because of the leather, it doesn't really soak very well into the leather because it's been treated. But we have a reasonably dark one, and I made the mistake, <laughs> yeah, another one, uh, of putting the black on first and the red that I was hoping to use to maybe do some sort of highlight uh, isn't strong enough. I'm going to put another layer on you and see what happens. Here you can see... I actually just glued the edges together because I want to make sure the knife's going to fit. We better check that right now. And, uh, oh yeah, there you go. Nice. All right. I love this scrap leather. It's really inexpensive. <laughs> uh, the other way to do a highlight, I thought I'd use some red thread to do the sewing. And uh, what I plan to do is try different things on each slip so i'm gonna put some red on again here quickly just to see if it's gonna take no you can't even tell it's soaking in which is a good thing so i'm just gonna see if i can add at least some sort of highlight to where i'm gonna sew where the thread's gonna be so it might just show up in the sun. <laughs> Not wearing gloves. Here we go. They're right here. <laughs> oh well. I'm not bleeding, just so that you know. <laughs> and we'll flip it over. We'll let that dry. I'm going to put the knife in, measure some things up, make some. Uh, cut some of the leather into some sort of shape that we're working with. Sew it together. And see what else we can do. Okay, it's dry now, kind of. <laughs> now we've got to figure out what we're going to do with this. Now, I think if this is the front, let me see which is the better side. I think this is the better side. So, If I put it in... It sits there, which is really enough to pull it out. Do we need to modify the shape? I kind of like it just like that. So let's sew it up and maybe we can add some bling to it. So I've got to punch holes in the sides here and uh, looking, they already have marks already. Now I'm pretty sure they don't line up. So I'm going to have to re-punch them. Huh, it actually lines up. <laughs> Who would have thunk? All right, we've got to make sure we do this right.
Well, I gotta say that that is the ugliest one I've ever made. <laughs> wow. All right, let's clean it up. If you're wondering why I'm using my finger, I don't want to use this hard thing on the stitching. <laughs> Did not work as well I was hoping it to, but it'll do. There you have it there. It's a very plain slip. Um, because of the leather being pre-treated, the dyes didn't work very well. The black went on, kind of. You can still see it's got a, a brown tinge to it. I did put red around it, and it just didn't go on, but it'd give a, a little... You go in the sun, you can actually see the red. Um, thought I'd better add some silver, so you got your black, red, and silver, same as that. Uh, that's about all I could do with it. Very plain, and you'll notice I did not put a lanyard on it. One of the reasons is no room, <laughs> main reason. The other reason is, is that this has a lanyard on it already. So, you know, you can pull it out, coming out of your pocket, you're going to grab the whole thing and pull it out and then pull this out. So... It's big enough where you don't need that lanyard to find it in your pocket. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> now, the next thing is this. The giveaway. Uh, I will put the rules and whatever in the description below. Uh, so you can check that out. Basically, all you need to do is be a subscriber, like the video, and share it. Uh, not necessarily all three, but at least be a subscriber. <laughs> uh, I've decided that how I'm going to do the giveaway is that once I've done all seven, on day seven, a week from there, we will do the giveaway drawing. And what I'm going to do is go to each video for whatever knife it was and do a random search using the YouTube thingy. And winner has to say, I'm in, and be a subscriber, basically. And you would win this, the knife, the slip, the box, everything. These are new knives, uh, knives that I liked, and I had purchased and reviewed them, just to show them off. Some of them I've had quite a while. They're pretty random. They are all Rough Riders. Price range varies from about 12 bucks to about 20 bucks. Uh, this one was in the higher range, uh, a little bit fancier. Uh, it is a very nice knife. And remember, I need you to put the knife model in your comment, like an RR1758773, whatever. Just so that I know you, <laughs> you actually watched the video. Uh, the other thing is, is that in the rules, obviously, this is a giveaway. It's totally random. And the main requirement is be a subscriber and comment on the video. Now, there's going to be seven of them. So a week after the last one, we'll do the drawing on all seven. Winners, I will give you a way to contact me. You to, all I need is a shipping address, mailbox, whatever uh, works for me. And uh, in the description will be all the information. So there you have it. Day one, complete. Successful? Uh, not quite. But all these are going to be made by scrap leather. So th they're going to be limited. This is about as basic as they will get. It is a slip. It will work. It is a big knife. Do you want this in your pocket? I wouldn't carry this in my pocket. I would have this on a sheath if I was going to carry it. And also in the description that reminds me, I will put a link to a video there. Now, 99% of my knives that I own, I've done a review on. So I'm going to try and find that review if you would like to see it. So 
you know, if you're going to be the winner, you might want to know more about it. It's, <laughs> you go. You will be safe out there. And, you know, hopefully you guys will enjoy this. It's a good thing. The, obviously, the reason, two reasons I want to do it is I'm running out of room. And these are knives that I looked online for, found them, liked them, and thought I would share them. They're all Rough Riders, all different. These two are the only two that came from the same series. And they are totally uh, kind of sort of different. So uh, there you go. Don't forget, like, <laughs> share, subscribe, and comment. I'm in, model number is this, and you are awesome, George. <laughs> no, that's all I need. Not the you are awesome, George. If you comment in there, you've got a chance of winning this guy. And so it goes through all seven videos. That's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you tomorrow, apparently. <laughs>